here we're going to give out Christmas presents. And, you know, we maybe some guys just get a stocking stuffer. I'm going to list some names. You guys can give us some ideas. We'll throw out some, some good presents. How about Kyle Shanahan? Oh, I, I know what my Christmas present to Kyle would be. The what? ability to plan ahead. <laughs> that I hope he gets the – we would give him a, in a little box the ability – it has a little uh, thing that flashes, and he looks at it, and it gives him the ability to plan ahead. I like that. How about a mirror that he could look at himself in? Because I don't know – I don't think he does it. A mirror. So he can honestly look himself in the mirror and decide what he's doing wrong. How about that? A really nice mirror. It's a magical mirror. A magical it, mirror. It speaks to him. Mirror, mirror it, on the wall. Also, Who's at fault for these turnovers? It, you are, it, Kyle. It tells the truth. It's a truth-telling mirror. That's right. I like that. That's right. That's right. I like those too. Okay, like let's them. keep it going. How about Robert Sala? Oh, I, that's easy. Yeah. Uh, I hope he gets a Bafo head coaching job in the NFL for next season because he sure has earned it. Yeah, I hope he gets the one in Jacksonville. They just got the number one pick. They're ahead of uh, the Jets. They got $80 million in cap space. The only problem there is Trent Balky is the director of player personnel. But if you can, if I would also yeah. give Robert Sala the Jets game with final say over the 53 man roster and the draft. Uh, and so Trent Balky has to do your bidding. So hope you get that, Robert. How about Jets? Wait, 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 wait. I have a question. You're saying in Jacksonville, Ch Trent Balky is the head of player personnel. Is he's he the general, general manager? manager? Oh, he's not the general manager. He's number two. He's number two. I know. I know. How did they get these jobs? I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. But the thing is, he's actually done a pretty good job in the sense that uh, he cleared their cap space. They have 80 million cap room. They have six picks in the top 60 next year, and they have the number one pick. So I don't know if he can make any of the right picks, but they're set up. That's a good job if you can just make sure that Trent Balky has no executive decision-making power. He's just a suggester. He's a scout. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Robert, good luck. Woo. Jed York. What about a Christmas present for Jed York? Oh, you know what? I, again, I'll give him a little box and, and there's a little beautiful, a diamond in it. And the diamond, when he look, gazes at the diamond, it gives him two things. Mm -hmm. It gives him wisdom oh. and, and kindness. Oh, wow. I like that. Maybe he'll go to the Wizard of Oz and he can get those things. Yeah. There's yeah. no place like home. Oh. Okay. Well, I have something a little bit cheaper for him. Because he he has all the money in the world, he could he could he could buy that himself. I'm gonna get him a map of Santa Clara, so the next time he leaves a game at halftime, he doesn't drive down a one way street the wrong way. That way, he knows the exit route in his own home city. So a map of Santa Clara, I think, would be would do him. You know, it's not the th it, it would do him good. You know, I think it'd be okay. That and a Christmas card. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I, I love it. By the way, I love it. But you said his own home city. Do you have a life-size picture of him living in Santa Clara? No. No. no I'm sure he lives really nice on the peninsula somewhere. Los Gatos or yeah. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's not living in Santa Clara. No. Who would do that? Sorry. The players may. I don't know. Yeah, they do. They get they get those little condos and they move back to Mississippi for the, for the offseason. How about a Christmas present for Jimmy Garoppolo? You do it. How about a one-way plane ticket out of town? I think that would be good. Iggy, you don't expect him to be here next season, do you? No, absolutely not. No, no, you know, no, no, hell no. Absolutely not. No. What do you think? Um, I'm not as uh, clear as you. Here's a deal. If they can't get someone better, they got to have them. But you're saying he's not so good. They could probably get someone better. He's so expensive and he's so hurt. And the fact that he couldn't come back and play through a high ankle sprain makes you wonder, do you have to be 100% uh, to play? What's the deal? Uh, quarterbacks have to can't miss every other season. And he gets paid a lot of money. I mean, he's missed 23 games the last three seasons. I, I, maybe if the cap were going up and there wasn't this pandemic and they could afford him, fine. But I don't think they actually have space in their salary structure for him anymore. I don't okay. think they do. You know, I get tweets from people that show how great the Niners winning percentage is with Jimmy. Yeah, but the point is they don't have Jimmy. He's hurt. 
<laughs> he's hurt. And I think they're five and four in his last nine starts. So I think the Jimmy effect might be wearing off. Okay. I the like the Jimmy. The one way ticket out of town. And you know what? First class. Oh, yeah. Right. First class. First yeah. class. One of those seats that reclines all the way, the complimentary, yeah. uh, bubbly that you get in there. When you get in, yeah. yeah. The little moist towelette, because that's class. And yeah, and they give you the, the, the little crackers with something Ooh, on it. Oh, I like the crackers. Oh, yeah. All right. How about Mike McGlinchey? <laughs> okay, I think we know. Uh, you know, if we, we're going to go to the Wizard of Oz for this one, courage. Courage. Yeah. Courage. Courage. I would also give him a uh, I would give him a uh, a gift card to an all you can eat buffet. Just go crazy, man. Go there every day and eat your heart out. And I would also give him a one month free trial at Gold's Gym because he's an athlete. And I think it would really help him to lift weights. Mike, give it a shot. You know, squats, bench press, things like that. Uh, the first month's on me. What do you say? What do you think? I like it. I like it. Okay. I'm sure that McGlinchey in his heart really likes you, Grant. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. I, he wouldn't. This is all in good fun, Mike. Of course. I haven't gone over the line or anything. How about Debo Samuel? Uh, you do it. How about a, a one-month free trial at a yoga studio? Stretching. Stretching. Love it. A little Love yoga it. action for him. Like a little yoga mat, you know, maybe a little yoga outfit. I like He'd be it. a yoga guy. He'd be Real a yoga quick, guy. What about what about CJ Beathard? Oh boy. Um a five million dollar bonus and then uh out of the league. I was hey, gonna say you know how people get a signing bonus, he would get an exit bonus. <laughs> I was gonna say a five million dollar insurance policy. Take it out. <laughs> like get your own medical private insurance policy because. Mike McGlinchey has your life in his hands right now. I wouldn't trust him. I wouldn't because he's not going to get to the all-you-can-eat buffet until a few weeks from now. So, CJ, take out a, an insurance policy, buddy. I got one for you. Uh-huh. Richard Sherman. What should Richard – where we get Richard Sherman? Oh, I got it. Golf clubs. Why is that? Because he's done. Go play – go golf. Go golf mm -hmm. with Andre Iguodala or whatever. You're done. Go, go golf. Take up golfing. A pitching very match. interesting. What do you think? I, I don't know him, uh, so I, I, I that's why I gave that one to you. But I like your answer. I mean, you could say something like a new calf or a new Achilles, but there's only so much we can do here. We're, we're not, we don't have magic. We have some we magic. Have, well, we have some magic. We, some magic, we, we, have, we have some yeah. magic. Yeah. Um, anyone else? Eric Armstead? Christmas present for Eric Armstead? Well, you know what? I really admire what Eric Armstead is doing with literacy. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think it's, God, it's, it's phenomenal. So I would say that uh, for his, I guess it's a foundation yes. that he should get more uh, people should invest in it and really help him do a wonderful job. Uh, well, he's doing a wonderful job to even do more. So I, I would say it. I would like philanthropists to know about what Eric Armstead is doing. Way to end the, the Christmas segment in the Christian spirit, Dad, which you grew up with. So thank you so much. <laughs>